Crow. I didn't always agree with him, but, um, and that seems to be um, the view of a lot, that's actually Boris Johnson, I think, but a lot of people seem to be sort of giving that kind of sentiment today. Emma, you were saying earlier that you know, not a lot of your friends liked Bob Crow oh. uh, when he was alive, um, and a lot of people who were... I didn't mean to drop you in there. No, it's fine. carry on. But, but, the fact, but the fact is, for a lot of people, and that includes sort of, you know, most of the commuters in, in, in this fair city, um, he was a man who caused a lot of problems when it came yeah. to strand action. But I suspect a lot of those people would have wanted him to be their union rep if they had a union rep. Yeah, I mean, the union numbers under him went, went through the roof. You mm. know, most, most people dropping out of their unions because they think they can't get anything from them or they always find themselves, especially, let's say, teachers, they find mm. themselves at odds a lot of the time with mm. unions. But, you know, he obviously did great mm. things for the people he represented that's not to say that you know when you're standing on a platform or you're on a, a mm. you know a rail replacement bus yeah. you're not going to think fondly you know of the person who mm. personified those sorts of strikes and they are so high profile when it affects mm. you directly he was in charge of a union that affected people being able to get to work but, mm. so I think um, you know this this sentence I didn't always agree with him but seems to be the way a lot of people are doing their tributes today to him I also like the facts in this picture um, he's wearing his Millwall scarf, which, and, you know, he adopted that motto as all Millwall FC supporters, you know, we don't mind if nobody likes us or whatever it is. Um, so that's quite a fitting picture of him. He doesn't also seem to have a top on underneath that coat. No, 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 no. But I, li I, li I liked his hats. I thought, I thought you know, the old uh, doughboy hat. I like that hat. Yeah, I think it. Very, think very good look. The brown suede one he used to, used to wear as well. That was, that was a seriously good look. And it will be, it will be, I see, I, I go to TUC every year um, for my sins and um, he will be a, he will be a sad loss without, without a doubt he was a real character yeah and then um, it was always good copy as far mm. as journalists were concerned so it'll be um it'll be a, a strange place without him mm. but interestingly i mean the head of acas was saying that uh he called a lot of ballots and if you compare the number of ballots to the number of strikes that he had he actually had very few strikes he must have just called a hell of a lot of ballots. A lot of ballots, yeah, yeah. And um, but and the strikes were very high profile, obviously, yeah. and they affected a lot of people. And um, people realised when RMT were on strike, particularly in London, you felt it. And mm. um, and that's why he obviously polarised opinion. But all he cared about was keeping his members happy. And I think, by and large, he's um, he definitely managed to do that. Do that. Okay. Um, going on to the.